Hey everybody, welcome to another Play the Objective here doing Samurai Showdown again. This is J Dash on Crash with Dash. And today I've got a new um, tactic that you can use with a couple of characters that there's, there's, you know, I'd, I'd ask you to explore with other characters, but uh, these two in particular um, have a specific setup for their command grabs, okay? Uh, we're going to talk about tick command grabbing. And if you do not know what tick command grabbing is, well, it's basically using a move to set up a command grab uh, that's way more advantageous than doing the command grab by itself. Uh, whether it be they're just releasing from block stun or it just gives you better frames towards your command grab, okay? And we do know that Hanzo has the Uzuna drop. Now, the, the reason that this works so much better for Hanzo than Galford is Hanzo has three levels of his Uzuna drop. He's got the light, which does 200 damage. He's got the medium, which does 22%. And then he's got the heavy, which does... 26 percent and that's depending on the slash you use abc uh, but the thing is the startup on all of them is different because the strength is different so his light is the fastest one due to the fact that it's got the um you know it's it does the least damage but it has the fastest uh, startup uh medium has a little bit longer heavy has a lot longer so that's going to actually help us with Hanzo. And this goes, uh, well, I'll get to that in a second. But let's take a look. So the, the move that we are going to use to set up his tick command grab is actually his down K. His down K. Okay. So if we down K into light, it whiffs. If we down K into medium, it grabs. So that obviously means if we down K into heavy, it will also grab. And so as we can see, they're blocking the down K and we're instantly going into our Azuna drop. So we're, we're putting ourselves at a pretty solid advantage. Why am I using down K? Okay, because every move is negative. So if I use down K, well, number one, it's one of those normals that has the fast recovery. You can see the blue particle effects. Okay, so that means that a lot of times if you use down K, they may think you're going to use another real fast normal. And so, yes, there is potential to poke out. I'm not going to say there's not. But the cool thing about down K is if we allow down K to actually hit our target, we have frame advantage because it hits, but the light whiffs, the medium whiffs, the heavy does not. And so that's why we're doing it. So what you need to do is you need to train your eye to see if it's a hit or a block and you react accordingly with the Izuna. Now when you're first starting and you're still working on training your eye, you can actually use the heavy for both because remember the heavy works on block or hit and it does the most damage. But if you want to get your frames as close as possible, you want to actually use the medium on block. This does not work for Galford because all of Galford's Azuna drops do the same damage and have the same startup. So the only trick you can do with Galford is if they block, you get the Azuna drop on any of them. So if they block, but as I said, you're not truly in an advantageous situation. Uh, they could poke you out, so it's much better with Hanzo. However, the next trick I'm going to show you works with both Hanzo and Galford. Because we talked about canceling normals, Hanzo and Galford both also share the same K. And both of them can cancel their K. And the thing is their K whiffs on everyone except Earthquake. So what you do is you're trying to force a block by using your K just to, you know, bait out a block and you're canceling right into the Azuna drop. And for that, if you want the best frames you'd use the light because it's the fastest right you're canceling your k into the ajuna drop so you're doing it to see if they're blocking what are they doing how are they reacting i'm going to use this k to set it up because it is cancelable so that's a good strategy to use with hanzo and galford and the thing is you may ask yourself okay 
realistically in Sam's show, it's really hard to get in on people. So how am I going to get that close? Well, with Hanzo, remember, you can trail his fireball. You can trail Hanzo's fireball. So you do have an option. Hanzo is one of those characters who has an easy way of getting in. And so this is a real legit strategy with Hanzo because Hanzo is running all over the place. He's chasing his fireballs. He's teleporting. He's running with this cross up. He's always doing things that are keeping people blocking from close up. And so with Hanzo, it's not as bad. And, and Galford, same thing. You can use Poppy. You use Poppy to set up yourself to run in. It's a safer run in. It's the same pressure. What am I going to do? Am I going to do this? I'm going to do the overhead with Galford. So a lot of times you are allowed to get that close and, and pull off the down K or the stand K. Now, this is, as I said, uh, people will start to react to this, but it is least, um, you know, because Samurai Showdown, as I call it all the time, is a chess match. So you, you're, it's not like you're going to just do this and take yourself to victory with this, but it is a legit strategy that'll help you um, get more command grabs off with Galford and Hanzo. Okay, the other character that I want to um, show you that kind of can do the same thing is Tam Tam. Tam Tam. This is more of a cheese tactic, but it's always good to have cheese tactics up your sleeve. We never want to not have cheese tactics. But we should know that Tam Tam's command grab has atrocious startup. All right? Tam Tam's command grab. Look at this startup. He has to put a sword down. It's atrocious. How will I ever catch anybody with this command grab? Well, this goes back to what we were talking about the other day canceling normals that do not have weapon reflect tam tam has normals that can cancel without weapon reflect his close light now it is harder to get in this close with tam tam usually it's defensive when people get this close to you because with tam tam your strategy is a b you're playing the charlotte pope game and everything but when people do come in on you this is why i said this is not a true tactic uh, but it is something that can help you if you are a Tam Tam player. And what you do, you cancel your close standing light on hit or block into command grab. And you're reducing the frames on block uh, because they're in block stun for a bit. So it gives you a bit more time to do the startup. The other one kind of creates an option select with Tam Tam, which is his forward K. His forward K has a knockdown that if you cancel, sorry, into um, command grab, uh, even on hit, you're safe. On block, if they are duck blocking the forward K, uh, it just gives you the extra frames from the block stun to, oops, sorry, get the command grab off. If I could do this, I'm not getting the cancel. It works. Just not going fast enough. I need to work on my speed here. There we go. So they're, st they're in a bit longer block stun, and so that's how this one works. See? And so it's better than just walking up to somebody and I'm going to set my sword down and get this command grab. Yes, it's a surprise move anyway. The whole move is cheese anyway. But it is one of those situations where if we really want to go for it, there is a legit chance that it can work. So it's just another tactic to use. You know, either uh, uh, the my execution is terrible today. I'm very, I'm not really good with a PlayStation pad, but uh, I think you guys saw the evidence that if your execution is better than mine, you can get these tick command grabs. Um, so in conclusion, use tick command grabs from these close cancelable normals that we were talking about. And if your character has a command grab, see if there's any normal that you can tick it into. Uh, from the close canceling command uh, normals that we've been 
talking about that will lead to strategy. So this is your boy J Dash. Uh, I'm, you know, representing the, the site Crash with Dash. I uh, play the objective. I, I stream uh, occasionally um, when I have time, and I'm going to uh, try my best to get more streaming in. And uh, it's more so discovering tech streaming versus um, me playing matches. Uh, you know, I don't really just dive into online ranked and things like that. I try to discover as much tech as I possibly can. So if you ever want to come tech hunting with me, uh, you know, my I link the uh, the, the streaming on Twitch. I, I link that in there. And uh, just support me. And I will continue to support you to the best of my abilities. Um, I, I just want to see this game played at its highest level uh, for my viewing enjoyment, for our viewing enjoyment. And I want to help us all out. And as I said, we can all grow. So again, this is J Dash signing off. Take care of yourselves. Uh, keep hunting for tech. And let's share it. All right. Peace, everybody.